Gravity Falls is the single greatest Disney cartoon ever made. It has everything. Action, mystery, interesting story arcs, comedy, great characters, oh man, the characters! Such classic and relatable icons. You've got Grunkle Stan, the bitter old man clad in suit, hat, and cane who, due to the unfortunate loss of a family member that he was partially to blame for, drives himself into his business and his money, until these children enter his life and give him a new outlook and remind him what family is really all about, as they go on adventures together, learn from each other, and care for each other. And then there's our main character, Dipper, the inquisitive, curious one who's always writing things down and taking taking notes with the help of his handy-dandy guidebook and lucky hat. And then there's Dipper's twin brother, Tyrone, the more adventurous one who looks like Dipper but is actually a clone, literally, and whose foolhardiness and endless curiosity often gets him ahead of himself in a way that may put him and his family in danger. And then there's Tyrone's twin brother, number three. And then there's Mabel, the naive yet confidently energetic adventurer well known for her famous grappling hook move, who serves as a balance to the Dippers in order to showcase their best strengths and can often be seen making fast friends, throwing slumber parties, and being the center of attention. And who could forget Seuss? I sure couldn't. The big, clumsy, yet well-meaning oaf of the group, who often creates more problems than he solves, yet is so blissfully unaware that it really makes you wonder why he's even employed at all. Hi, nice to meet you! I'm everybody's friend! Oh, and the villains, oh, the villains are the best part. You've got Pacifica, you've got Darlene, there's Preston, Bill, Probabilitor the Annoying. Like, really annoying, you have no idea. You have Amorphous Shape. And then finally, you have Gideon, who runs a rival business to that of Stan, and is such a wannabe that he even tries to imitate Stan's clothes and business model to a T. And then in one episode, it's revealed that his hair isn't actually white. What the f and then there's another episode where he makes a deal with Bill Cipher to take down Grunkle Stan and steal the Mystery Shack because after Bill was released from the second dimension held within Grunkle Stan's glasses and caused creatures to spawn into the world from a rift in space, he got a job making balloon animals for toddlers. Are you following me right now? The beauty of this show is in its structure. Everything is set up, everything is explained, everything burrito, everything is foreshadowed, and it's always tied together in a neat little bow that makes every episode stand out. There's one episode where the kids run the mystery shack while Grunkle Stan goes out to make a new fortune. <laughs> and fails dramatically. Meanwhile, Dipper the Third, stupid bastard that he is, unleashes the Grand Loblin on the town, and then similarly in another episode, Dippy Three gets his hands on time travel and uses it for his own selfish gain. Then there's an episode where there's a ghost in a mansion during a party, which is the most original concept I think I've seen uh, multiple times in years. There's another episode where the character is obsessed over this show called Duck Detective, about a duck that solves mysteries and rewrites histories, which is a stupid idea for a show. I mean, come on, are you kidding me with that? There's a Halloween episode. And there's an episode where the characters muck about in the mindscape, and also Bill Cipher is there. So much variety, so much creativity, and so much thought is poured into this series that it really makes you wonder why they added that cliffhanger at the end of Season 2, COME ON! But aside from that and some problems I had with the finale, Gravity Falls is a heartwarming, thought-provoking, enjoyable time that anyone can enjoy no matter their background or preference. It even had an awesome video game that I hated for being old and bad. Definitely some top 10 best games of the century material right here. Am I right, fellas? You know, I gotta say, Bowser really outdid himself this time. Since this is obviously the number one show to have been made by humans, I'm afraid I have no choice but to give Gravity Falls a perfect clade out of Nyev, which most academics would know translates to a triple S plus rank. Yeah. Now, as for that other show, oh, don't even get me started.